It's a warm late summer evening. Three girls are out for a night on the town. Everything seems normal, and the girls are hoping to have a fun time. But little do they know that someone or something is lurking in the shadows, watching, waiting. SCP-049 is a humanoid, roughly 1.9 meters in height, which bears the appearance of a plague doctor. While SCP-049 appears to be wearing the thick robes and mask indicative of that profession, the garments instead seem to have grown out of SCP-049's body over time, and are now nearly indistinguishable from whatever form is beneath them. SCP-049 will become hostile with individuals it sees as being affected by the pestilence, often having to be restrained should it encounter such. If left unchecked, SCP-049 will generally attempt to kill any such individual. SCP-049 is capable of causing all biological functions of an organism to cease through direct skin contact. SCP-049 has expressed frustration after these killings, indicating that they have done little to kill the pestilence. Though it will usually seek to then perform a crude surgery on the corpse, using the implements contained within a black doctor's bag it carries at all times. While these surgeries are not always successful, they often result in the creation of instances of SCP-049-2. SCP-049-2 instances are reanimated corpses that have been operated on by SCP-049. These instances do not seem to retain any of their prior memories or mental functions, and they can become extremely aggressive if provoked or if directed to by SCP-049. Despite these alterations, SCP-049 often remarks that the subjects have been cured. SCP-049 has spent a considerable amount of time studying and performing surgery on various mammalian corpses. SCP-049 will routinely spend several days performing surgery and then spent several more days documenting its findings in a thick leather journal stored within its doctor's bag. SCP-049 will often seek to share its findings. SCP-049 was discovered during the investigation of a series of unknown disappearances. During a raid on a local home, Investigators found several instances of SCP-049-2, as well as SCP-049. While law enforcement personnel engaged the hostile 049-2 instances, SCP-049 was noted as watching the engagement and taking notes in its journal. After all of the 049-2 instances were dispatched, SCP-049 willingly entered Foundation custody. SCP-049 is contained within a standard secure humanoid containment cell in Research Sector 02 at Site-19. The following is from the 049 Incident Report. Quote, Living human subjects are the only way to proceed forward, I have decided. I have gleaned all I can from corpses. 
My desires turn towards tending to those still living who suffer from the disease. SCP-035 is to be contained within a steel, iron, and lead-shielded room at all times. Doors are to be triple-locked at all times, with the exception of allowing personnel in or out. No fewer than two armed guards are to be posted at any time. Guards must remain outside at all times, and are not allowed within the containment room under any circumstances. SCP-035 appears to be a white porcelain tragedy mask. A highly corrosive and degenerative viscous liquid constantly seeps from its eye and mouth holes, and anything coming into contact with this substance slowly decays over a period of time until it has decayed completely into a pool of the original contaminant. The origin of the liquid is unknown. Conversations with SCP-035 have proven to be informative. Researchers have learned details about other SCP objects in history in general, as SCP-035 claims to have been at many momentous events. SCP-035 displays a highly intelligent and charismatic personality, being both amiable and flattering to all those who speak with it. It comes across as highly intelligent and appears to have a photographic memory. However, psychological analysis has revealed SCP-035 to possess a highly manipulative nature, capable of forcing sudden and profound changes to an interviewer's psychological state. SCP-035 has proven to be highly sadistic, and can transform individuals into near-mindless servants with linguistic persuasion alone. SCP-035 has stated that it has intimate knowledge of the workings of the human mind, and implied that it could change anyone's views if given enough time. SCP-035 appears to be a white porcelain comedy mask, although at times, it will change to tragedy. In these events, all existing visual records, such as photographs and video footage, automatically change to reflect its new appearance. Subjects within 1.5 to 2 meters of SCP-035, or in visual contact with it, experience a strong urge to put it on. When SCP-035 is placed on the face of an individual, an alternate brainwave pattern from SCP-035 overlaps that of the original host, effectively snuffing it out and causing brain death to the subject. The bodies of possessed subjects decay at a highly accelerated rate, eventually becoming little more than mummified corpses. Nevertheless, SCP-035 has demonstrated the ability to remain in cognitive control of a body experiencing severe structural damage. Even if the subject's body literally decays to the point where motion is not mechanically possible. SCP-035 is to be kept within a hermetically sealed glass case, no fewer than 10 centimeters thick. A trained psychologist is to remain on site at all times, and research personnel are not to touch SCP-035 at any time.
Item number, SCP-173. Object class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. Item SCP-173 is to be kept in a locked container at all times. When personnel must enter SCP-173's container, no fewer than three may enter at any time. And the door is to be relocked behind them. At all times, two persons must maintain direct eye contact with SCP-173 until all personnel have vacated and relocked the container. Moved to Site-19 in 1993. The origin of the object, as of yet, unknown. SCP-173 is constructed from concrete and rebar, with traces of Krylon brand spray paint. The reddish-brown substance on the floor is a combination of feces and blood. Origin of these materials is unknown. The enclosure must be cleaned on a bi-weekly basis. Personnel assigned to enter the container are instructed to alert one another before blinking. Line of sight must not be broken at any time with SCP-173. The object cannot move while within a direct line of sight. Because SCP-173 is animate and extremely hostile. Object is reported to attack by snapping the neck at the base of the skull. Or by strangulation. In the event of an attack, personnel are to observe Class 4 Hazardous Object Containment Procedures. Personnel report sounds of scraping stone originating from within the container when no one is present inside. This is considered normal, and any change in this behavior should be reported to the acting HMCL supervisor on duty. Item number, SCP-173, Object Class, Euclid, End of File.